In the 1920s, light bulbs lasted 2,500 hours. Today, they last only 1,000 hours. What happened? A secret cartel was set up in 1924. Its goal, to reduce the lifespan of light bulbs to 1,000 hours. The first nylon stockings on the market were made to last. What happened then? Was back to the drawing board and come out with something that was more fragile. They time those things. They time them. So when you finally paid for them, they're used up. Welcome to the Apple Care Service and Support Line. What is the dirty secret of millions of iPods that landed Apple in court? The answer is a hidden mechanism at the heart of the consumer society. Planned obsolescence. The desire on the part of a consumer to own something a little newer, a little sooner than is necessary. Planned obsolescence has defined our lives for nearly a century. Our role in life seems to be just to consume things with credit, to borrow money, to buy things we don't need. But consumers have started fighting back. This was a major case. They thought I was the next Aaron Brockovich. Planned obsolescence is not only about deceiving the consumer, it also threatens the planet through a constant stream of toxic waste. Posterity will never forgive us. Posterity will suddenly find out about the throwaway lifestyles of people in the advanced countries. Celui qui croit qu'une croissance infinie est compatible avec une planète finie est soit un fou, soit un économiste. A new generation of businessmen is looking for bright new ideas. I think business and sustainability go hand in hand. It's actually the best basis to build a business on. Can we free ourselves from the tyranny of planned obsolescence?